So I found through trial and error that the key to saving time lies not within Cinema 4D, but within yourself. If you want to learn that key, stay tuned. What's up survivalists, it's Shay from Team WJ here, bringing you my secret to saving time in Cinema 4D. Before we start, let me give you a brief overview of my situation. Back in November of 2017, so three months ago, I made this render for my web series Love Sleep. Since then, lots of time has passed and I figured out how to get subsurface scattering on my rigs. Needless to say, something from three months ago doesn't have subsurface scattering. Do you see the problem now? Because we are eternal students and there's always more for us to learn and improve, by doing a final render right off the bat, we're bound to come back to it one day and re-render it with new skills that we've required. That would honestly take more than 24 hours just for one scene. And that's a lot of time you're spending rendering instead of animating. Instead of doing a final render right off the bat, what we should be doing are hardware renders. These take advantage of your GPU and render exactly what you see in the viewport. Even my laptop gives me an average render time of half a second per frame. Think about it like this. If I wanted to render this scene at full quality, it would take me 2 seconds per frame for 300 frames. That's 600 seconds or 10 minutes. Now if I were to change something, I would have to render this again and it would take another 10 minutes. But instead, if I chose to do a hardware render, By doing this, if you were to make any mistakes or improvements, you can just change it without having to worry about re-rendering anything. Hardware renders allow for clarity so you can clearly see how something will turn out before the final render. This may not seem like a lot for a short animation, but the longer your clip is, the more this stacks up. Hey, I make videos every Monday to help you improve your animations. I give technical and theoretical advice that you'll find nowhere else on YouTube, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out. But I'm learning too, so if you have tips that you use to save render time, let me and others know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this quick video and I hope this saves time for some of you in the long run. Cheers!